When you get into the slides, you're gonna see that there are two slides already there. One is labeled as the front of the money. And the second slide you can see on the side here is labeled as the back of the money. You're gonna to need to do both over the next two classes that we're working on this. On the first slide for the front of the money, the first thing we need to do is add a color or an image to the background. Now, to remember everything that's needed on the money, I've written it down here in the notes. So look at the bottom of your screen for a list of what is needed. To add an image to the background or color, you're gonna click on background up here on the toolbar, and then you can see that you can simply just select a color, or you can go in and choose an image. When you choose an image, you're gonna get different options. You can choose an image that's already saved on your computer, or you can do a Google image search and look on the internet for an image that you would like. I'm just gonna click and try to find something that's already on my computer that I could use to share with you. So once I do that, it's gonna put that in as the background. And it's just gonna do that on the front. I can choose something different for the back. Now, the next step I'm gonna do here is optional. There's a little gray bar at the side and you can slide this over and I've put some templates. So this is like a little um, overlay to put on top of your money. So this is something you can choose to do or decide not to do, but I'm gonna lay that right over top of my picture so that it looks a little bit more like a dollar. Um, next, we're gonna add in your photo. Now to do this, you're gonna go um, in the same way you would as when you're taking a photo of your artwork. You're gonna click on the square with the two mountains and um, when you hover over it, it's gonna say insert image. You're gonna go down to the camera. You're gonna look into the camera and smile and do your pose as you click on the camera. And then you're going to choose your favorite one there and click insert and line up where you'd like that to be. Now there's a lot of extra space on the sides of my picture here, so I am going to crop it in. Pay attention because sixth graders can be doing this, fifth graders, fourth graders can be doing this when they turn in their artwork. Just click on that image two times and you see how those black handles come up. We're gonna take those black handles and slide them in to crop that image and make that tighter and smaller. Now, when you get it where you'd like it to be, you're going to go and hit enter or return on your keyboard. And then that's gonna cut off that extra space. Line it up where you'd like it to be. Looking down on the list, I can see that I also need to um, write down the date the money was created. This doesn't need to be today's date. It just needs to be something made up. This is something that would be on um, real money. So I'm gonna create a text box. You can see that I did that by going up to the toolbar, on where you see that little T inside of a box. And then I'm just gonna write 2020. Um, when I do that, you can see the text comes out black, the font comes out Arial, that's just the standard default. That artistically is not the best. So go back in and highlight what you just typed and get creative with it. Change those colors, change those fonts, change the size um, of things so that it looks good within an artwork. Um, also think about the placement, because now that I've made this a lot larger, and I might see now I lost the zero, you can slide these text boxes, make them a little bigger. Now that I've made it larger, it's not really lined up where I want it to be. So I'm going to be using the arrow keys, kind of like go up, 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 and over, over, over with those arrows to get that 2020 where I'd like it to be. I simply just click away from there um, to, to signify that I'm finished. Um, looking at other things, at least two symbols. Um, creating symbols, you're gonna go into the image and think about where can you get an image from? Do you have something saved on your computer? Um, something saved in your Google Drive that you could use that would be a nice symbol to add in your money. You've got the option of searching on the web and that's gonna bring up a little search bar over here. Um, 